What is up, ladies and gentlemen? What is up, wrestling fans, wrestling people, and just people involved or fans of pro wrestling in general? Welcome back to another episode of Talk Inside the Ring Ring. Let's ring that bell because Cucumber Reviews is also here to provide you all with a new exciting episode of Talk Inside the Ring. Ladies and gentlemen, as you all can tell by the music that I played in that intro, I am here to talk about the one, the only, the shark, the predator, the ultimate opportunist, the rated R superstar, the 11 time world heavyweight champion, the winner of 2021's Royal Rumble, Edge. Ladies and gentlemen, that's right. I have decided to come back with another exciting episode of Talk Inside the Ring to talk about who, what I honestly feel about Edge, how I think about him winning the Royal Rumble, and what I think he needs to do when he faces Roman Reigns, and if he wins, what he should do with the Universal Championship. Universal Championship. Now, wait a minute. The Universal Championship. Now, for any of you who have been watching Monday Night Raw or Friday Night SmackDown or even Wednesday Night NXT, that feels so weird saying that, Edge has, we, we all know, Edge won the 2021 Royal Rumble. We are on the road to WrestleMania. We are going to see, at the show of shows, we are going to see the showcase of Immortals, Edge going up against the big dog, the head of the table, Roman Reigns, for the Universal Championship. Now, for any of those who have been paying attention, Edge has actually been saying he came back, he outlasted 29 other men because he wanted to get back the championship. He never lost the World Heavyweight Championship. But wait a second. The World Heavyweight Championship. The World Heavyweight not the Universal Championship, the World Heavyweight Championship. This is honestly what I think WWE should do or what I would do if I was a story on the storyboard of WWE. What I think, and if rumors are true, if Edge does walk away from the showcase of the Immortals, if Edge is able to become a 12-time World Heavyweight Champion, I have heard through Many people that I watch on YouTube, from what culture to the Wrestling Observer, that it is rumored that Edge is going to bring back the big gold belt that Ric Flair brought over from WCW that was used as WWE's World Heavyweight Championship. That Edge, the very first time he got the World Heavyweight Championship, was from cashing in his second money in the bank on an injured Undertaker, showing us exactly what kind of a predator Edge really is, what kind of ultimate opportunist he is, how he truly defined the word ultimate opportunist, and how he was able to cash in and become a two-time World Heavyweight Champion, or more like he was able to hold on to his very first ever World Heavyweight Championship, but the point is, he became World Heavyweight Champion, and see, the fact of the matter is, is Edge wants to become, once again, the World Heavyweight Champion. But he's never been Universal Champion. So what I think needs to happen is Edge is going to win. Edge needs to beat Roman Reigns to become the new Universal Champion. But what I think he might need to do is he needs to bring the Universal Championship. And he needs to say, you know, I did talk about how I was wanting to gain back a title. I never lost. But I never lost this. I never lost the Universal Championship. I had to retire and I had to turn over and vacate my World Heavyweight Championship. In the year of 2011, the month of April, Edge had to retire due to a severe neck injury involving so many ladder matches, he was not going to unfortunately be able to wrestle much longer and he had to retire and he had to give up the World Heavyweight Championship. So what I think Edge needs to do, and what I'm hoping that they actually end up doing, is that Edge will win at WrestleMania, at the Showcase of the Immortals, and become an, a 12-time World Heavyweight Champion. But I actually do not think the big blue belt would actually work with Edge. So I think what the Rated R Superstar needs to do 
is he needs to bring back the big gold belt and bring back the original World Heavyweight Championship. Guys, let me know in the comments below, what do you think? Should Edge bring back the World Heavyweight Championship, the big gold belt from WCW that was held by the likes of Goldberg, Ric Flair, Diamond Dallas Page, Booker T, who was five-time, who was a five-time World Heavyweight Champion, from DDP, who was a three-time, three-time, three-time World Heavyweight Champion, or should he just keep the big blue belt and try to make it his own? Let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to hit my Patreon where we have some awesome rewards for you. Where I have just finished making a video on me talking about Batman Under the Red Hood. Go check that out. Go check out my review on The Dark Knight Returns. Go and check out my newest review talking about Spider-Man Far From Home. Go check out my also last episode of Talk Inside the Ring. Where I talk about what I feel like WWE should do with the 24-7 Championship. Have a good night, guys. Don't forget to stay phenomenal. And don't forget to stay tuned. Because we will see what the ultimate opportunist is going to do again. Have a good night, guys.